morning. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on a beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. I can hear Andy's already started strawing up, um, so we'll go and check that out and get these cows fed. So Andy's got his tractor out of here. I can hear it running actually. Oh, he's down here, look. Here it is, the 6130R. He's waving, look. <laughs> it does look as though it's gonna be a nice day, but it's a bit chilly. Um, but yeah, clear skies, well, fairly clear. Morning, Andy. Morning. Huh? Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. Oh, cold though, isn't it? Nice though. Yeah, yeah. It's good to it, be. Well, when it's dry. When it's dry. Yeah, it keeps trying to rain, doesn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, I've not noticed that. I've not been. I've not been up that long. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get these cut, get everywhere bedded up. Um, Andy's gonna go out for a little bit for the day, yeah. and then a bit later, something might be happening this evening. Nice. I think Mick said he was coming up um, a little bit later today. That'd be interesting. Let's see him. There it is, blowing out of the shoe. Bedding all these cattle down, giving them in a nice new bed. And we do this every single day. Um, little and often is better for us personally rather than doing it every maybe second or third day and cutting down a lot and then on the second or third day of getting a poor quality bed but I can see why other farmers might do it a different way so it's saving time and you know fitting everything else in what works on one farm doesn't always work on another so it's just our method as my dad's just doing a bit of paperwork in the house I'm gonna jump on the the TM here and start feeding round. So we just bucket it round with this MX auger bucket that puts the meal out to the left hand side. Ideally if we were probably building the farm again we'd have it so that you could go around with a mixer wagon but when we were, were designing the farm originally one we didn't think we'd get to this size and two um, mixer wagons weren't really used in beef um, so having a bucket was like forward uh, forward thinking so my dad's come out I'm now doing the mix just need a bit more just popping the molasses in waiting for the clock to get to the right I think 6 350 hopefully today that's close enough so this is absolutely fantastic she's not starting oh. again it's that like cold weather in it to get Andy's tractor to start it because it's the only one for some reason that does start it so I've just dropped the bucket off for my dad He's going to fill the mixer now. Andy might as well get his strawing done and then um, we'll get the tractor up to it and get the 9 meter started. Once it's started, it's fine. I've got a new battery on it. Um, there was talk of something being wrong with it, but uh, it seems to always work when it's warm. Got my dad picking up. Andy's already strawed these guys up this morning. Just going in this pen where I've let him in. See the straw stacks going down. Right now I'm just emptying the mixer. We'll just shut the door. 
that should stop it coming out. Turn off the conveyor. Rearrange where we're uh, going to take it out from. Set everything going again. Out she comes. Oh, look who's turning up now. Yeah, this is where he crashes. I think that's the worst sports car ever. That looked about as cool as a hot summer's day, mate. It was controlled driving. Was it? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Well, like I just nearly went to the red and thought, uh, if it could performance again on roundabout, so I got it. Fresh out here, didn't do anything. Just as I'm pulling up, it's like. Right, it is Land Rover, isn't it? I don't know, I filled it with Porsche diesel now, so. Alright, that'll fix it. That'll fix it. That'll fix it. Hoorah, diesel. Usually, when Andy pulls in the shed, it's because of a shear bolt, but today it's uh, not the case. We're going to try and start the 9 metre, although it is parked in a bit of an awkward place compared to normal. Andy usually has the magic touch, so we'll let him, uh, we'll let him sort this. Oh, he's only gone and done it! Well done, Andy. Well done, Andy's tractor. This tractor starts everything, just like the big one won't do it. Yeah, just like not enough, yeah. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll let Andy get out of here now. After sorting the job, then uh, I think I'll get some hair round. Andy's just on, he's unwrapping the bales now. I'm going to get some more for another part of the farm. I'll try and find you, I forgot you'd got to unwrap it. Um, these are getting a bit giddy, aren't they? Do you want to do it with straw now? I'll make a drink. You're all right, all right. Yeah. So Andy's just getting some straw down now. There he goes, look. He's a master of that now. So Ben's just... Um, Shouted, we've got a cow out. One of the little grazing ones that can escape has escaped. He's down here, look. Maxing and relaxing, eating some grass. You shouldn't really be able to get around to this side, but there is a little gap in the hedge. So cows like to fall. They like to go back the way that they know. I suppose that's like the safest route for them because they know that they've gone through there, it's safe. So we're just putting them back around that way now. If we try to take them up the other way, which is nice, wide, open, easier for it, um, probably just stress him out a little bit. So we're just nice and slowly going to push him back around the corner. Has he gone, Ben? Thinking about it. Oh, is there? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. Down there. Spring has sprung here. Yeah. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Go. <laughs> Not gonna be a cattle dog, is he? Yeah, and also you shouldn't have dogs around cows, really. What? Unless cattle dogs? <laughs> well, just stresses them out, doesn't it? You gonna send him back this way? <laughs> well, just see which way he wants to go. Might be a bit of a mountain cow. Under my digger, obviously. Yep. We've got him back in anyway. You might be drinking tonight then. I have a fuel. Fuel? He's having like a bottle of vodka to me. Yeah. They needed to share it with someone. Yeah, you. Can have it. Might be driving as well, piling it minibus. Mm -hmm. What took his ass? So, finally got the light lens that uh, we needed the other day. Mick and Nat, uh, my dad couldn't find one, so I had one off the internet and it's arrived. They had to just uh, tape this up so that it was uh, 
as legal as possible to use the other day. So yeah, I got this one. I think if you look for a, a daft light, by the way, they were all about like 40 quid or something. And then a uh, new car parts had gone in for 25 pounds. So save some money, go to Euro car parts. It's called Hella though, and it says it doesn't fit the vehicle. But it, it, it does, it fits it fine. Ben and Mick, well, camera, let's face it, it's whoa, Ben. Whoa, 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 one brains. Taking the bearing off uh, this bucket, it's needed to go in for a bit. That's a bit loud. One brains. You're getting stuck. Come on. You're not kidding anyone. One brains. How are you two getting on then? Struggling to get a case and back in. Oh, so you got it off? Oh, yeah. The gap there now, we'll lap tap up. It's an block with bolts now. Just yeah, me. we've brought that many of these casings because the catch on there. We don't want to risk it. Catches because it's tight, and then you start oh, no. tying it Pop up it. and it goes bang. We don't want to yeah. risk it. Do you want to end it? Use me a piece of wood there. Bolt tie, Benji. You'll be helping him then, Mick. See, you haven't got mucky for note. Where's his rubber hammer? No, mucky, are there? Have you got a rubber hammer? No. I've got a rubber head. <laughs> He's not got rubber johnnies, though, has he? No rubber johnnies, just rubber head. <laughs> it's a business. Uh, you're going to be tapping too hard, Benjamin. Just tighten up that now. Jolene. Oh, it'll run like a beast now, won't it? Jolene, hey? Jolene. Tight and we've what? Oh, my mum told us words, didn't she? Yeah, well, she was. Oh, she please don't it. take my man or something, innit? Yeah. Yeah. She was. She told you, mum. My mum's what? Well, she taught her song, innit? Yeah. Becky's good at singing. Yeah. Mm. Sure. You never wear long enough to hear her sing, are you? No, no. When I've seen her. <laughs> She's nasty, innit? He is horrible, isn't he? He's horrible. He's an horrible person. He's a nasty booger. I've got the new lights on anyway, that was just four bolts. Easy peasy done. You Alan Key man. Mm. I can I guarantee you that none of them will probably fit. You're, you're you wanna look for a silver one? You're spot on. Look for a silver one and that'll fit. Can you bring that first set you had back and all, mate? Because I need them for inside here. So I thought what I'd do is go and check on those geese. And then I thought I'm gonna use that. Because it's easier and simpler and um means I ain't got a game car and just phew. okay it's because I want to have fun with the drone we are setting off now just from the farm put it into a bit of warp speed so we can get to the uh, field a little bit quicker flying over our barley stubble here that um, we're going to be putting in with maize in the next coming months and onto the winter wheat that we were in yesterday where we saw all the geese um, but today it's not looking like there's any there which um, is a little bit annoying. Maybe they'll come on a little bit later um, this evening. And we just pan round now just to have a look at the local village. As you can see, all the four before tracks, which are fairly annoying. Um, and then we'll just have a look round to the left and show you the old pit stack. So that's all the, um, the soil that came out of the mines. Well, soil, I don't know really. There's all sorts of stuff in there. And they've um, put trees on it and... Tried to make it a bit nicer. Did you like the use of the drone in that situation then? I think it's a good tool, even though there's no geese there. But um, I don't know, Ash might be going a bit later today, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, to have a look, see if there's any more on. And then a little bit later, we're going to Andy's for um, a bit of a takeaway and a few beers and stuff, um, which is what we've been alluding to with Big Mick saying he's going to um, have a bottle of vodka. Right, anyway, I'm gonna drop this bucket off now. Um, make sure we've got a pre-mix done for tomorrow. Before I get the big beastie 210 up and running, creating loads and loads of noise, I wanted to do mixer mentions. It's a happy birthday for yesterday for Jane Boardman, and also a happy birthday to Becky. Now, I think this is for my Becky, but I'm not really sure. But anyway, if your name's Becky today, and it's your birthday, happy birthday. Anybody else whose birthday is, happy birthday. Let's just cover all bases here. Happy birthday to everyone. Um, we've raised now, as a collective, £4,157. So thanks to everyone who's watched these little clips and um, everyone who's donated as well. Business. Ready? <laughs> She's a 
honey. Right, let's get filled up with straw and hay and all that kind of, there it is. Straw and hay and all that kind of thing. The mix is sorted now and I'm uh, just feeding out. A little bit early today, but I want to get finished in good time so we can get over to Andy's. Andy's Manor. Mr. Pheasant's here. He must be hungry. Beautiful, isn't it? Ben's come back to help me feed up, which is good. I need somebody just to open the gates for me. So he's going to do all that. Now I've put the Palatines on here rather than the MX, just because the MX is on the on the nine meter. We're going to shoot down here give these guys a bale of hay. I'm just looking at the Scania and the DAF side by side. I think this DAF's got a much smaller cab on it. But like, the DAF's got a snorkel. Why is that? Yeah, I wonder why they have them. Like, there must be a reason for it, or they won't put it on. Like, it's, it, it can't be that it's, it's off-road DAF. It must be something to do with like the air pressure or something. I don't know. Somebody will know. Let me know in comments. Why do they put the, the sort of snorkel right up there to suck in the air? Well, I must say, Ben and Mick have made a decent job of this uh, this bucket. It's working perfect now. Firing it out. All right, so I'm just rushing about going to get Andy's tractor to put it away in the shed. That's everything done then. Um, but if you have liked today's video, please remember to like, um, subscribe, and um, them guys are running off, aren't they? Yeah, subscribe if you've not already, because it really, really helps our channel out. That's the reason we're going to Andy's tonight for the 17k part A. Um, it's just an excuse, really, but um, it does make it easier to, to um, have excuses just to have our little trips apart, uh, trips away, and bits and bobs like that. So, um, yeah. We're going to have a good time tonight, possibly might go live for a little bit, um, and uh, hopefully some of you can join us. Hopefully this tractor goes into gear. Right, anyway, I'm going. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, we will see you tomorrow. Business! <laughs>